Speedrunning through Backrooms levels is a dangerous game to play. I've taught you already how to get from level 0 to 100, the safest and the most dangerous way to do that. I've also taught you how to speedrun from level 0 back to reality. But today in this video, I will be teaching you how to speedrun level 0 through level 1000 of the Backrooms. The most efficient way, the most safe way possible. Well, it's, it's not gonna be a safe journey. You're traveling through a thousand levels. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into this method and let's see what we can do. Leave a like if you think you could speed run this without unaliving or getting eaten by an entity. As usual with these speed runs, we will begin in level zero. And the first few jumps from level to level will be pretty similar to the speedrun I did from level 0 to 100. But after that, chaos begins. Firstly, you'll need to wake up in level 0 after you fall out of reality, and you need to no-clip. And of course, no-clipping is glitching between levels and levels by just going through a wall or something. You'll need to walk around level 0 until you find a wall that looks out of place. You need to run and jump through that wall. Once you do this, the only place you can end up is on level 1, which is the next level. Now, level 1 is where our first big step begins. You'll notice that you're in this wet parking garage area, and what you'll have to do is walk around this garage until you find a dark hallway. Now, once you find this hallway, run into it and find a big hole that's smashed into the wall. These holes typically lead to level 19, and all you have to do to get there is jump through the hole. Now, level 19 itself is a small and claustrophobic set of attic hallways where it's dark and cramped. So it's going to be really hard to move around, and if you have claustrophobia, it might be over for you here. You, this might be as far as you can get. Now, on the document for level 19, it says that you can jump down through the floorboards and have a chance of entering several different levels, including level 654. Which, you know, that sounds awesome, right? You get to skip over 600 levels, you're halfway to level 1000, you'd be wrong though. You see, level 654 only has one exit, and that exit takes you back to level 19. It also says that on level 19, you can jump to the floor and be sent to level 432, which again, that sounds great. It sounds like you're skipping a lot of levels, but the only exit from that level leads you all the way back to level zero. So that won't do you good either. Your actual course of action should be to find and no clip through a handheld gaming device that's glowing off in the distance of the attic. And once you do this, you could end up in level 212. Now, level 212 resembles an abandoned airport. The airport is empty, it's abandoned, it's very liminal, and it's actually very dangerous to walk through. It seems to be infested with some kind of entity. But you're gonna have to walk through it anyways, because trust me, the exit is 100% worth it. You're gonna have to walk through these airport hallways until you find a blue door. The blue door will be very out of place, it'll be glowing, you'll know it when you see it. Your next step, of course, is to walk right through that blue door, and this blue door will send you to the blue channel. Now, if you don't know what the blue channel is, I have a whole video on it, but essentially the blue channel is the place between backrooms levels. It's a place where you can swim through the air and jump into different realities of the backrooms. Essentially, as far as you can swim is as far as you can go. The only issue is you can't really expect to swim that far because you'll get exhausted and there's no way you can make it all the way to level 1000. So your best course of action is to look for a level called level 448. So once you swim through the blue channel, you see this level, jump down into it, and you'll be there. So we're making some pretty good progress. If I do so myself, make sure you drink up some almond water and eat something. That way you don't pass out from all the running and no clipping. Your body's not meant to do that. Anyways, level 448 is essentially an island with a large abandoned prison on it. The good news for you is that it's pretty much empty. There's no entities at all, and there's pretty much no danger. It actually has a class zero difficulty. But in order to escape this prison to get to the next level, you'll need to go inside of it and walk into a relatively deep part. What you're looking for is a wall, a specific wall that is glitchy and warping, kind of like the one you found in level zero. Anyways, once you find this glitching and warping wall inside this prison, run and jump through it, and you'll end up on level 145. Now hold on, you might be thinking to yourself, Brugley, we just went backwards, 300 levels. How are we gonna get to level 1000 if we keep going backwards? Trust me on this one, I've got your back, don't worry. 
You see, level 145 is very important because it's the only place that you can enter level 1000 from. It's the only known entrance. And the only problem is, it's a very dangerous level and it should be explored carefully. Level 145 itself takes the appearance of yet another prison like Complex. It's extremely vast and it's pitch black. There are infinite ways to explore this level up, down, sideways, diagonally. But what you're looking for is very hard to find. You need to go down into the belly of this complex and you need to find a void door. Essentially, it's a door with nothing behind it. The door looks open, but all you can see is just like sparkly void. Once you find this, no matter how long it takes, you need to walk through it and you'll end up on level 999, which is the 1000th level of the back rooms. I've gone over the new level 999, but again, if you aren't aware, it is a dark floating island with nothing but millions and millions of miles of darkness surrounding you. No one's for sure what is beyond level 1000. All we know is that it's the gateway to infinity. And you just made it here. Congratulations! So this speedrun would definitely take the most time out of any other speedrun I've done, especially once you get to level 145 and have to explore for days and weeks to find the entrance to level 1000. But the path that I just told you is by far the easiest way to do so. Even if it doesn't seem easy, I promise you it is easy. There's like four or five other ways. This one is by far the quickest. Anyways, let me summarize the path very quickly in case you weren't listening or in case my words just went in one ear and out the other. To start, you'll be on level zero. You need to no clip through the wall there to get to level one. Inside of level one, you need to find a hallway with a hole in the wall and then jump through that to be on level 19. Once you're in the attics of level 19, you need to find a glowing handheld gaming device and no clip through that to get sent to level 212. 212 is an abandoned airport, but you need to explore it and survive it to find a blue door inside. Once you do, open it up and jump into the blue channel. Once you're in the blue channel, you need to swim through it until you locate level 448 off in the distance. You need to run and jump onto the level and go inside its prison complex and find a glitchy wall that is warping and staticky. Run and jump through that wall and you'll be sent to level 145. Now once you're on level 145, you need to explore the depths of the level until you find a big void shaped entrance door to level 999. No matter how long it takes, walk through that level to find it. And if you do, you will be sent to the thousandth level of the back rooms. Not so bad, right? So yeah, that was how to speed run level zero to 1000 in the back rooms, the safest, the most efficient way. If you think you can still do it, leave a like on the video. I don't know if I could do it, to be honest. I feel like I'd want to take more time or maybe take like a longer path just to explore more levels. But whatever the case is, thank you for watching to the end. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what other videos I should make. And thank you all for the support on all these videos. I really appreciate it. I, uh, I cannot wait for this summer. Hopefully you all are excited for it too. The Brugley Summer Spectrum spectacular is on the horizon and i cannot wait to show you some videos i've created for that and also maybe a merch design drop i'm not sure let me know if you want that anyways enough blabbering in the outro section without further ado i'll see you in the next video